Hey, it's Jason with Dad's That Cook. We're in Maui. We're hanging out here at the Fairmount Kealani with almighty Chef Pang. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. I can't believe I'm here hanging out with this master of Aloha, chefness. Aloha, Aloha. Oh, and he's such a dad, and that's why we're here hanging out. And he's got these beautiful ribeyes that we're going to work on today straight from the cattle company up here in Haleakala. Haleakala. Up in Haleakala. You're going to want to stay tuned because he's got awesome secrets that you're going to want to see. So hang out. We're going to get on it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Awesome. Hey, I'm Jason Glover with Dad's That Cook. You know what? I've been cooking. I've been creating. I've been making dishes all of my life. I'm going around the country. I'm looking for dads who know how to cook. My name is Tylen Pang. I'm the executive chef at the Fairmont Kealani Maui. I believe my theme personally as a chef in the resort is to make sure that our guests enjoy a little bit of what Maui has to offer. I love to feature items on the menu that come from locally grown and sourced ingredients. Having our grocery store growing up country right up the street bringing it down and getting it to the resort has been common seen there in the Maui restaurants and resorts. Walk us through some of this delicious food that you've prepared, that you're getting ready to prepare for us. Maui cattle country ribeye. I love it with the bone in. I think that's the best mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. to eat a steak. I'm going to prepare the rub for it right now. It's so simple. This salt comes from the island of Molokai. It's done by Nancy Go. She's an artisan salt maker. The next ingredient is a turbinado sugar, a little chili little, flakes, mm -hmm. fresh parsley, and then of course, garlic. Oh, garlic. It's no steak without garlic. Yeah, you gotta have garlic. It's almost like a paste. Mm. So you mix it together. You're gonna grab the steaks, born on Maui, stayed on Maui. Till now, they're gonna go in my <laughs> stomach. Another secret. Another secret with a rubber band. Sunflower oil. This is cold pressed sunflower oil. I use the rosemary as a brush. Yeah. I like to bruise it. That's what God, it's all it about. Smells so good. So simple. I use it as my brush. I put a little sunflower oil mm. and it helps the salt mixture that I just made adhere. I am very generous with it. On the flip side. On the flip side? I love the whole brush thing with your herbs. I, I hate brushes because you can't really clean them well. This rub is actually um, quite traditional. So that rub was passed on me by a very dear friend and I continue to use it in honor of him. Wow. What's the fat for? The fat is so you don't have to use those nasty uh, sprays. aerosol spray. I like to do two different heats. Left side hot for me. Okay. And right side medium. Medium. Eight minutes on one side. Oh because yeah. Because I favor the medium rare. So do I. World. Someone mentioned sizzle. sizzle. This guy has invented cooking here on the island. I mean, he really has. You teach at the Culinary Academy, I, I, right? I sit on the advisory board. Skilled talent needs to be cultivated mm -hmm. and needs to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. Every year. I give out a scholarship wow. and my scholarship goes to the one deserving student and their scholarship is buys them eight weeks in the building Wow! to shadow with my team where they might be headed for. How's our, uh, how's our ribeyes doing on over here? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. So you can see the Ooh. sugars start to caramelize. That's sizzling right there. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put these on the grill, if you don't mind too. Yeah, yeah. So when we're ready to plate them. What do we got? These are hamakua ali'i mushrooms, paired with some of those beautiful Maui onions that I mentioned about. It's sunflower oil, Uh huh. but I'll actually do salt and pepper. Oh, okay. I try not to do too much to the produce that I yeah. bring in. Is it the same salt that the, the gal that you talked yes. about made for you? go from Molokai. So I am gonna put this on the grill. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Like I said, simple, good ingredients, uh -huh. about good technique, being true to the food. Pink snapper. So this was a fish of celebration. Mm. To get a fish and eat it whole, off the bone, it was representative of a lot of things. Prosperity, 
And that's why it was always a celebration. We saw it at birthdays, we saw it at New Year's. Uh -huh. I believe the most tender meat comes from the center. Uh -huh. The sweetest meat comes off the bone. You gonna do a little scoring on them? Just a little bit to get the herbs and the ginger and the salt on the inside. Very simple scoring. Hawaiian sea salt, both sides. And I like Ooh. tons of ginger. That looks amazing. Oh man. What are some of the, the dishes that your kids now make that they've learned from you? My kids learn their favorite dishes. Okay. So, they like to eat a good stir fry noodle, mm. and I taught them how to do that. My son, he's a carnivore at heart. So this this would be his this jam be right here. His. So what's the number one thing that you can tell a dad out there that would give him some inspiration for making that next dish? If you stray away from your normal and just making your favorites, if you're going to an open market or even a supermarket, go with open heart and open mind. Mm. Let the food take you there. Mm. It's an amazing journey. Wow. All right, so what do we got here? I had a little bit of soy sauce. I'm putting a touch of oyster sauce in it. And I'm gonna spoon it over, because this, oh, look at besides that. its natural juices, mm -hmm. sprigs of cilantro. Okay, so what do we got here? We got oil, hot oil. I have macadamia nut oil from the islands. A macadamia nut. Keeping it in Hawaii. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at this ribeye, right? And this fish. I'm just gonna go right here. Is that good? Good. Oh my God. I never had any steak like that before. How do you like the rub? I immediately I got the salt, I got the salt and the sweet. All right, let's get this fish try A little bit of the sauce back over the top. He's gonna peel a little piece off for it for me. All right. Careful. There's a tiny bit of bone. If you if you sit at it with a chopstick and you peel it back, peel it back, peel it, that's quite the way to enjoy it. And it's so light and flavorful. It was worth waiting for. And I love how you you steam poached it. You know, and then the, the hot macadamia oil over it that just, just got all the flavors and just really shoved all those flavors right into the fish. We think it's important that uh, we never take for granted our food source mm -hmm. and how we treat it and how we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. it. It really is part of the Hawaiian culture and the sustainability of everything that we harvest, catch, or grow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. Amazing day. Ah, oh, so I, great. I hope we inspired some dads. I want them to not be afraid of the Hawaiian fish because we've done this dish before. Salmon or even freshwater trout. Have fun with it, you know. Mm -hmm. I hope the simplicity of the dishes inspire you to give it a try and enjoy. Mm -hmm.